What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm actually working on the car. I went ahead and pulled off my hood and the wiper cowl. I didn't film it because it's a pretty easy process, but I plan on cleaning the inside and then pulling off these hinges because I do have those new hinges down here because these hinges were bent and they were causing my hood to like dip in and they get stuck too. They don't even like open up properly because this one, not as bad, but pulling it off. But the reason why I pulled off the hood is because I picked up a new hood like two days ago at night and I regretted it. Um, the paint is a lot better on this hood, which is right here. It's really dirty. Only issue is it has dents right here. And I didn't see that at night. I have my flashlight and everything, but I just couldn't see it. But now using this lighting, I could see all the dents right here. You could kind of see like, and I'm bummed out because I was like, dude, this is a, it was pretty cheap, it was hundred bucks, but at the same time the hood's dented and it kind of like bugs me. The paint's better overall, but there is slight fade on these. But yeah, so that's my fault, it's a hundred bucks. And then this is the old hood which you can see like it's down in here, it's bent here, has that patch right there. And this hood, it's just, the condition overall is worse than paint. Paint on this is better, but it has dents. And now I'm at the like the point where I, I would pull my hood off. So either I put on that new hood with dents and then see if I can have someone PDR it because all these tiny dents are here. Or I just scrap it and just wait till I get a carbon hood or another CGP hood pop up because I don't know. I want to put that hood on, but the dents, I, 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 I don't know, you might be able to see it and it's going to be so annoying to see, but the paint is so much better to the point where I just want to put it on and just wait like a week or two and see if someone just come and PDR it. Hopefully it's not going to be too expensive, I'm not sure, but... You know what, we'll just put this on because I already bought it. Sorry, I, I couldn't decide. But like I said, I went ahead and pulled everything off. I have the new cowl down here. Way better condition, just dirty from sitting. Um, this one's faded to the point where you can't really restore it. I've seen people do the torch method where they get a, like a propane torch and heat it up, but um, there are some flaws to that. So yeah, we're just gonna put that on and then I do need to paint correct that too, so I need to wipe it down. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, wipe it down. I kind of wish this hood didn't have holes right there, and especially I wish it had the latch, but it doesn't. I still need to put these on. And I thought I was gonna put Honda on today, but we're gonna slap the cowl on. We'll pull off the hinges, and then put the hood on. I honestly don't know what's going on in this video, I'm just rambling on, but yeah, yeah. New grill looks good though. Look, look much better this thing looks without a hood. Yep. This is the hinge that I picked up from the junkyard. This is the one that's currently on my car. I have them laid out flat, and you can see that this one's bent, and then this one's like pulled up when the carbon hood flew up on the previous owner. I do kind of wish it had some black paint to paint this, but I don't. So I'll have to pull this off again later on, which does suck, but this will just have to work. I need to work on the engine bay probably like in a month or so. But yeah, need some cleaning. The driver's side is so much worse. You guys can't really see, but this thing is so bent and I have a hard time like opening this even if I put my foot on it it gets stuck like that but that side's in gonna put this side in gonna vacuum all this wipe it down and then uh, gonna throw the cowl on and then I think the clips on the new one should be pretty good right yeah it has clips and so yep small things but the little things that always matter Look at this. It's not new, but so much cleaner, and it's not faded to the point where this one. 
super faded. This is gonna look so much better now. It's two pieces, but I'm gonna put it in as one. I just need to route the um, the washer fluid hoses. And luckily this piece, it came with cleaner clips too, because this one, they're, they're pretty, they're like faded pretty bad. Bam, the new used refurbished whatever cowl is on. I need to get clips for this and that side, since that one didn't have it. And I'll paint these black eventually. But, all right, time to slap the hood on. Uh, I still need to pull this fender off to put this fender on, but I'll probably wait. I'm not in a rush. Yeah, just put in that dirty ass hood and then we're gonna wipe it down and then we're gonna paint correct it. Since this is OEM paint, that is OEM paint too, but I think it's like respray in a lot of other areas. I definitely will be pulling off the wiper blades or the wiper assembly uh, to repaint them. They are faded, but for the most part, it looks good as is. Some time has passed. My brother came over, he was visiting, and he helped me put the hood on. So this hood, it looks lighter, but I think what I really need to do is polish this hood because the car, this car used to look like or the color of this car used to look like that until I polished it. So I'm gonna polish this and look at this. It's just so flush now with the car. And then that new cowl, new used. And of course, you can kind of see the dents because they're closing right there. But the, this hood fits so much better though. Like the body lines are perfect. The dents are not it. I'm just gonna look for somebody to do a PDR on it. Leave it as is, get by because this color is always known for paint fade. But I'm gonna let the car cool down and then get to polishing the hood and then I'll show you guys right after. I did pick up new pads from Harbor Freight. Another fancy compound and then finish it off with the black pad and the Harbor Freight buffer. Slowly but surely. So it needs a carbon hood. The hood's polished up. It looks a bit lighter, just like my hood. Um, but I think it just depends on the lighting. Actually, I'll take that back. It is a little bit lighter, but it's okay. It's better than the other hood. I'm not tripping. This is not a show car or anything or anywhere like my hatch. Uh, the hatch, I drive it like once a week, but this one I actually drive it like almost every day. It's more of a daily to me, but I still want my daily to look nice and I'll probably get a different hood later on. And right now I have wax on it. I just finished uh, polishing it and then of course you want to seal it up with wax. And I need to polish the back side of my trunk. I didn't get to do that yet. So there's like swirls in it. And also huge shout outs to Jordan Distributor Inc. They are the ones that started the push start system for like the 90s Hondas just to help with theft and it does work very, very well because it removes your ignition cylinder and you replace it with pretty much a push start system within a mobilizer. They actually sent me one out. Huge shout out to Jordan Distributors. They sent me one for the TSX. It comes with two buttons. Oh, there we go. Comes with two buttons, I believe. Yeah, so this is a uh, black and red illumination and this is black and white, depending on how you feel. Comes with your key, these chips or these keys is pretty much like you just tap it on this ring down here. Where's it at? This ring, you put it like this or somewhere near it and it'll start the car. This is pretty much your immobilizer ring or immobilizer key. And you can literally put this anywhere in your car, hide it behind your dash, wherever you want center console, but this thing is pretty long so you can actually hide it pretty well. Oh. I'm assuming there's two keys. I'm, I, I, don't, I don't know. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay. And then it comes with this. This is the box. And I do know they have a lot of other options like for GPS tracking and just a lot of other stuff. They have this cool thing called the ghost box, which you can hide your pretty much, let's just say you don't have a double din or anything or a single din radio. You can have the ghost box. It plugs straight into your factory radio harness plug and you can have Bluetooth straight to your phone, play music on your speakers. So that's a cool thing if you don't have like a 
you know, a radio or anything. You just use a block on plate and it's super clean, but you still have music playing. I'm assuming this connects into the ignition harness because of this brown plug right here. But yeah, we're gonna install this probably this time I do the Hondata or probably after. Probably do one thing at a time. But this is a cool system. And also on this car, since this car already has a factory immobilizer, that immobilizer will work with this too. But that's it for today. I might just slap the fenders on maybe later today or something. I I'm not too sure. But I do need to get this Hondata going. That is for sure gonna be the next video. That has to go on this car because this car, you know, it's not as fast, it gets down, but on that, be a whole new world. But that's it for this video. Peace out, those the other guys. Just keep building and stay tuned for what else? I don't know what else, but stay tuned for more CL7, CL9 content. Peace out, guys.